It wasn't looking good for Space Soldiers until that second half came in. They're rocking it in the T side. We do get to see the Turks take the first here in a best of three here at ESL 1. I have Chad Sponge, Burchill and Jason Moses O'Toole, two human beings who tend to like a lot of Counter-Strike and watch a fair share of it. This map included. Cash goes the way of Space Soldiers in somewhat of a surprise. We said we wanted to see three. Perhaps this is our way in. Yeah, definitely a surprise after that first half, right? We thought it was done and dusted. You couldn't even see the Space Soldiers guys getting going. SK were just playing defaults and finding kills across the board and just yeah. in terms of reacting off of each other looking fantastic switch on over the game plan coming out from space soldiers was immaculate the the, the way that they punished the uh low utility of SK on that first gun round I loved. They did a fake execute and then they went and they hit, hit B late. And the reason I like that, Alex, is because you force out any utility that they do have, and they had very limited maybe sure. a smoke and a flash between the majority of players, that's all gone. Now it's just jewels. Now you have the utility advantage, you go to a double pump, you go hit that B bomb site, you have the, the utility advantage, and then you just go in with the firepower, get those kills, nice and easy. They did that throughout the second half. Well, like it felt like SK just never really had the the, the, the utility they needed, and because I mean, especially because they switched into the double up setup in their second gun round immediately, SK, and that that really limits what you can buy. And it was just constantly going back into that. And I thought the amazing thing was um, the amount of opening kills that Space Soldiers was able to get, mm. partially because they had such an advantage in the utility. The amount of times that we saw Fallen make plays inside of Molotovs just to find equalizing kills, like three times throughout that half, having to push into fire, having to stand into fire just to find an opportunity, just yeah. to find to kill to keep his team into a round was insane and they just got battered and both see i mean to be fair both ct sides look, looked awful i'm not gonna lie to you i mean we can take a look at that first half you know we do have i think we've got still a stewie's perspective as well during that first half i believe that's what you it. can hear that's him tearing it up i can show you he's running around i can hear it you guys got it? I can hear the in-game. Well, I can't anymore, but I could. Nice. Now we're on. Yeah. But yeah, so look, Stewie had a really good first half, and this is what I mean, right? Like, this is the kind of map where a player like Stewie thrives. He's very instinctual around these smokes, and these are the, these are the opening kills which are unanswered. When you're one. finding that multiple times, he was punishing Paz over towards that bomb site as well. He had the fallen, uh, the fallen clutch round, which would play very yeah. smartly. Uh, you have all these different situations where, sure, SK looked like they should have taken it. You flip on over, them going into four spies and re relying on the individual players on the CT side against a well-structured, well-planned out Space Soldiers T side didn't work. And I do want to ask a little bit more about that Space Soldiers T side because I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like we were seeing a lot more B hits than we typically do on a T side. I felt like we saw that bomb down. Well, we saw they a lot can't of stop you, you know? Yeah, they just, were they walking in? I mean, do they seem, are they bringing anything new to the table? How are they getting away with what seems to be the less popular site? And if I could stop hearing that gun cocking in my ear every five <laughs> seconds, I'd I appreciate it. I don't have it. that. I don't have I've that. Got that. That's, that's you guys. You have to enjoy that. Um, I, I think a lot of it comes down to that utility, like Chad said, the, the fact that you're able to pull so much out of it early on in the rounds, mm. and, then, and then you're able to just go wherever you want, and you have the advantage of those nades. And this is also, I know it's something Henry always talks about, his little economics classes, Counter-Strike Econ professor over there. When you have that 11 to 4 lead, just save on those two rounds yeah. or just get the pistol without the armor and make sure you have those smokes and those Molotovs as much as humanly possible in those first gun rounds. Like, they, you just need to be able to have it. <laughs> We're earning out a couple of kinks. I did We're earning out a couple of kinks. I was just, I was, my mouth was moving, but uh, nothing was coming out. Uh, I know. No, but, but bang, like, like just... To summarize, when you don't have the utility, they can execute on you and you can't stop them. They just come in and take the jewels as the, the fights that they want to have, right? And Major leading by example, he had a lot of frags in, the, in that second half. Yeah, he was and sick. He had a lot of opening kills as well, and, and that's great to see the in-game leader getting in there first. By the way, both pistol rounds go the way of Space Soldiers. In the first half, SK was able to respond in the second, so that's that's one thing. But, I mean, so when you have an 11-4 to 4 lead, even with losing the pistol round, you, you shouldn't be dropping that map. Sure. That, that is your map. And I know, Absolutely. actually, I mean, fair play also. I know, I think it was Zonic who tweeted out at one point, he's the first first person I ever saw really address it where he said 11-4 is like the most deceptive big lead you can have you can have going into the second half like mm. and even Why Maniac in the back because it's really when you think about it it's kind of only like two losses away you lose pistol you get those three rounds all of a sudden it's 11-7 you lose the first gun round and then it's like 11-9 and then all of a sudden like mm -hmm. you're there within striking distance so it disappears very very quickly especially with the economics especially if you're on the CT side going into that second half with the economics that it requires with the kits Absolutely. and the M4s and the all <laughs> It's <laughs> just getting more. There's just so much. So, <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm, I'm not going to shout, sorry. Uh, just so perhaps if, if anyone's wondering backstage uh, in the production room, what we can hear, it is the players warming up on the second map. If that's where, if you're looking for the source of the audio, I can just hear people shooting people in spawn. We'll that's keep just, going. Yeah, we'll keep going. So I think SK found the solution towards the, the end of the, of the game, right? And that was being aggressive. They were yeah, finding no. a couple of opening kills. And I think the thing that you have to really extrapolate from that is space soldiers have a good game plan. The problem that becomes 
comes for them is when they get stuck in the mid round when they lose a, a player, right? They don't know how to react. They don't know yeah. how to play the mid rounds as well as an SK. So if SK had more utility, they would have been confident going aggressive earlier in the second sure. half. But because it was so late in the piece, yep. it just felt like, you know, Space Soldiers going to run away with it. And they did indeed. I mean, cash goes the way of Space Soldiers. We saw a fantastic stat there, courtesy of the ESL stats dude, fishiest dude. Um, what we heard from that was that they're on an eight game win streak on cash now space soldiers That's with the current roster and that's an imp that's an impressive achievement feels strange to have seen it come through I mean, let's not forget of course the fact that SK had to remove nuke did mean space soldiers got that that strong string in their bow in this Best of three up next though inferno. Let's turn our attention to that unless anyone has anything additional to add to that cash I think, conversation. We've, I think we've, we've I think we've really dusted cash we've just really about got there. Yeah, Okay, so let's move in towards Inferno. This is SK's pick, and I don't actually want to return to points made way back at the very start of that veto process, because, mm. you know, I think it was y yourself, Jason, you said that, you know, it, it was surprising to you that SK have had a bit of a, a troubled history with this map, and yet still we find them bringing it in fourth as their, as their pick in the best of three. It seems to be a heartbreaker, and especially this is, is going to be a map where if they had utility issues on, on cash, obviously on Inferno, they better nail that down and talk about that one and get that going very, very quickly, because mm. you absolutely need it. Um, but th this map always seemed to be layered. They, they had to put a lot of a lot of work in them into this map to make it viable for at, at certain stages throughout their career. So it's never seemed convincing. And now this is not good if you lose the first map and you're going into an iffy map where you're also not even settled as a team, as a unit to begin with. So this is a real uh, a chance here for Space Soldiers to cause a series upset. It is their pick, though, I guess. You know, they have to have confidence going into it in that regard. I just think that there's so many weird things that do happen with this SK roster on this map, like the, the fact that sometimes Stewie is orping over towards yeah. that B-bomb site instead of and obviously Cold Zero picking up the AWP. There's just a couple of weird dynamics that I guess if, if it doesn't really go in the direction it needs to, SK can look in trouble. Now Space Soldiers, we did see them play this map on land and they didn't do too fantastically well themselves. Yeah. So there are problems you know, for both teams yeah. on, on this Inferno map. And this I, is the map we saw them get dominated and dogged on by Astralis in their opening performance when they were trying to perform um, over in Marseille, I believe it was. Uh, I, I, I will say one thing, because I know they've had they've had some issues on this map, as we've kind of said. One of the reasons why SK feels a little bit more comfortable on this is because they have Stewie at that B bomb site, and they always felt like one of the major weaknesses of this map was their B defense. Mm. They were just never able to hold anything back. They didn't have players who were comfortable holding it, didn't have a pairing that they really liked that were dominant at it. And now that they have Stewie and they can put him in that bomb site, we saw what he did with Cloud9 at the major in the B bomb site. They feel like he's really been the secret, the recipe that's that's made this map more viable for them moving forward. I'm very intrigued to know just exactly how they choose to structure it now. Um, in terms of roles, in terms of where they're going to be positioning their players, it's not as clear-cut as it used to be with SK. I mean, on that CT side, do we have a, de a dead EB player? I mean, yeah, it's, it's Fallen and it Stewie, is still right? Fallen yeah, and, Stewie. Yeah, and then over towards A, you've got Cold Zero mainly playing that arch side, and then Fur and Bolt are the, are the duo. But they swing that around a lot, right? They don't actually... Yeah. It's not... SK is a team, I think, who could... I, it depends if they wanted to look at it this way, but they have so many players who can do similar roles. I feel like if a team was going to play spawn-based Counter-Strike, that they could probably want to do it. And that's an idea that I think, you know, teams have floated with or thought about from time to time, but it's not something that we ever see come to fruition. Jason looks like he just swallowed a B when he heard you say that. You don't like spawn-based Counter-Strike? No, I love spawn-based Counter-Strike, but go. it's one of those things that I feel like is great in, in theory. And it's on, like a unicorn, yeah, not in practice. And mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's just tough to do in, in CSGO for a variety of reasons. And I think as well with the way that Smokes and Molotovs work in this game, a lot of it has to depend who has who has the smoke to be able to block off a choke point, right? You don't want sure. someone to spawn towards the B bomb site that it can't afford to smoke, and then all of a sudden you got two minutes of no smoke in the B bomb site. If I see Stewie orping instead of falling on that B site as well, I don't know how I'm going to feel. They've Just addressed let it happen. It. Let but it they've happen, addressed Alex. it. They've yeah. addressed it. And they say, like, if, if Fallen is confident in Stewie doing it, then they just allow it to happen. Because yeah. Stewie is a good orper, right? Absolutely. He's definitely a fantastic orper. I think there has been times, especially with this SK roster, where he has been firing maybe better than Fallen has been. So it kind of makes sense in that regard. But it also makes them a little bit unstable, right? And if we look back at SK, what has made them so good over long periods of time yeah. is the fact that they can play their mid rounds really well. And I do, I do want to know if we see a third then prediction time sounds like the game's about to Ooh, be going fantastic. down inferno sk's pick we did just witness them crumble in that second half do we see a third gentlemen yeah let's go yeah. let's go three i'm, I'm taking us to All a third right. map I'm, i think we're gonna see it, it would be such a sour taste in sk's mouth if they start this best of three start this tournament on home soil off with a loss to the curveball that is space soldiers your cast is already henry g and sadikist gonna be jumping in Ready indeed, hopefully SKR as well. It certainly wasn't the most promising of first maps. Looked great for one half, looked abysmal for the other. Aggressive start from Kalix, already down to alt middle. Bolts has had enough of that, but Zontara's in the window to support and fire alongside, or rather above. 
gets the shot back onto Bolts. Yeah, applying some pressure here towards second middle. Zantaros doesn't want to fall back at all, but Major, he could be in a promising position here. He's actually pushed all the way through the apartments. He knows his players on the other side, but for now, SK have the lead. Remember, they did lose both pistols on cash. They are a map down. You can see at the top of your screen there. Major keeps pushing forward, and actually, the rest of SK making their way towards B. That's where the Bombers are least, and Stewie to lead the way. Back toward B indeed. It's going to be an immediate defense from engine required. So good recovery from SK to find Zontaras after he traded. The aggression was certainly there. The USPs were in the first one. He's stuck inside of the flames. But engine does get one as he backs off. Major's contributed. This is falling apart again. They haven't got the bomb down. 42 seconds fallen. He's got the bomb in his hands, but 31 HP. And from range, in open settings, just get in and get it planted at default. Yeah, they, they wasted too much time focusing on engine at the very back there. They thought that was a guaranteed kill, but one by one they went round. He's doing the damage. No one's focusing towards B. The flank came through. Great work by Space Soldiers, but SK once again looking incredibly weak as they give up the first half. You can see no one's thinking about Banana at all. Major's got all these free kills. They're so tunnel visioned on that first frag towards the coffins that it all falls apart very quickly. CZs, PD-50s, Deagles. And it looks like SK will have three smokes as well, but this is not the star they really wanted. Remember, they lost the first pistol on cash as well, but they did recover with the second round four spy. Can they replicate that here? It's a lot more difficult Inferno. It's not a similar sort of map in the terms of the way it plays. It's not as puggy, not as open. It needs a lot of execution. That's why they've got these three smokes. Bolts holds off inside of the apartments. He'll play with fur. Tara's meanwhile still in banana will get a little bit more aggressive with the FAMAS. This could go two for us. S. I nearly said SK. SS. <laughs> SS. Space soldiers. The, the SS Henry. Sailing from the UK for the shores of Dunkirk <laughs> during the Marine <laughs> Naval okay. bailout. What was that called again? The commissioners. What was it? I forget. The civil commission that they had to run. This is very hypothetical, very deep at this point. Not yes. really relevant. Yeah, but I like that's it. That's what I like. Yeah. Meanwhile, what is relevant is Furrow got a kill, but they didn't know that Major was still out toward the sandbag, so it was actually almost a bait and switch, although not intended, I don't think, to play as the way it did. It still works out for Space Soldiers. They get away with all the kills, and it goes 2-0. Certainly does. 2-0, and we'll get this round by 3. No bomb planted there. A little bit of a disappointing round. Heavy investment from the SK boys. So just Glocks, presumably, here. Rock out with your Glock out, Hank. Did you know that the last time we were in Brazil, we kissed? Oh, goodness gracious. Is that that, <laughs> that Pro League Finals, like, two years ago? Yeah. It, was, it was the start November, of November. I well, yeah. I think it was... Uh, it was mid-October, I think. It was just right. the beginning, the end it, like, of October. We did, like, the last day of October is when we started the, the launch for it. Yeah. That's, uh... I wouldn't say good good memories, but memories nonetheless, Hank. Yes. <laughs> we raised a lot of money, at least. That's true. We did. We steamed up a lot of glasses, including mine. <laughs> As Major gets fallen, it's a five on three. Major tag down to 17 in the process. It's a shooting gallery. They're just farming up cash at this point in time. Just killing off the creeps, buying up the items, getting ready to rush the, the base, the ancient. Well, Stewie's only got a Galil, so uh, he won't be inflicting much, uh, what's a good word? Uh, uh, splash damage, perhaps. DPS. DPS. But the I think that's a term you can, we can bring over to CS in certain situations. Obviously, CZ got high DPS. Yeah, exactly. It's damage per second, right? Yep. And you could talk about an AWP having, if it misses, it has like a low damage per second. Like an AK has actually more DPS than an AWP on average. It's just that the AWP in one shot does more, right? So you can talk about like the DPS of playing an angle. It's a stretch, but I think it's applicable. Yeah. Well, there's Kalix. Bit of a bonus round, as we normally talk about here. Got to work out pretty horribly so far for Space Soldiers, trying to be a little bit more forward in the apartments. And Engine will be dropped. It's the first gun round looking like it's almost guaranteed now for SK Gaming. Great shots from Cold Zero and Stewie. Zantara's left in a four versus one. Remember, like we said, bonus round. The orbs, the rifles come out of the next. That's where the game really begins. 
This is very prevalent, this setup, especially for the economy. There's been a couple changes in the meta for economy as of late. The, the one that really piqued my interest was uh, at ECS. Obviously, G2 didn't really accomplish much, but their buying of SMGs they, when guns were available. They were available. calling it the, the devil buy, people tweeting devil me. Devil that, that, that was the name of it, apparently, something he came up with. And it, I guess it, there was many different philosophies thrown our way and things that could be for horse's mouth on that one yeah um but it i haven't yet and i probably should do and i probably should have um but uh, people are saying like the idea is you could maybe fake out what your utility or what your economy actually sits at so you could say oh we've only got smgs here we don't really have enough to buy and then an extra round even if you don't win that one you bring out the full buy maybe bait them to something but they were winning those rounds quite consistently maybe just have a much faster game approach into that round and try and save about two thousand dollars each knowing there's some vulnerabilities on the other side maybe the double orb setup you want to push through smokes and back tens that was really cool yeah but, uh, i think i think the running up it's, it's almost like giving yourself a bonus round because you know you're going to get the economy again next time if you win it on that you upgraded their weapons you, you build up faster than and you can avoid a reset with it i think there's 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 a number of, of philosophies like you say but yeah horse's mouth is 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 uh, i think required on that one talking to existence or some of the other g2 boys it's 3-1 sk did win against the bonus round so naturally there are guns brought back out for the cts and m4 that was saved and carried over the rest purchased into this and major has the awp and posted toward banana already we're not going to see a t side of the awp as of yet yeah you might not do at all that's true but uh fallen likes to bring it out occasionally we'll find out major had a great second Whoa. half on cash, I have to say. Really fantastic stuff from him. As uh, we saw him get 26 frag, I think, at the end. I think I, I, I agree with the desk. I mean, even if Jason's not convinced by space holders, you can't deny some of the individual talent that they have. Yes, absolutely. So Bolts will wait inside of the apartments. He wants the A site. Calix is down below and staring that direction. He's in support of Zantares and vice versa. Whoever takes the battle first, the other will swing. And hold off the angle. Calix does spot bolts. Santaras has already swung. Now he has to be a little bit careful of the front side of Boiler, so therefore the arch player has to get slightly more aggressive. Paz is not going to pounce, but he's certainly ready to do so. Still a five on five, but time ticking down for SK. That was a problem for them. On cash, he managed to recover it a few times. They had a great T half, but uh, the bomb was going down. Was seconds to spare multiple times. Major opens things up. Stewie caught alone at B. Now with the advantage on Terra, that looks like a lock-in kill, but Fallen does survive. Right click flashback coming in. Will they be able to turn Man. away from it? They will, but still mowed down by the M4s here. That's going to be round. Calix, fantastic work in the pivot. That's all Zantares. What a great play by him. And Coldzera is decent, but uh, five versus one, eight seconds remaining. I don't think this will be one for him. Just trying to do any sort of economic damage he can at this point. Gets a couple of kills, making this very expensive. He cannot win the round at this point, but Zantares will hold strong. Three kills in total. Gave up a couple of frags. That's a little bit disappointing, but one more buy here and a weak buy for SK. Anyone who questions Zontaras' ability to work at the tier one level has to certainly concede at this point. He is showing up. How and effective has been is that? Perfect pop flash. Well, it wasn't even a pop flash, just the right click. Yeah. Get and it, it, the thing is, as well, he's doing it such an angle where he's going to be in front of it. So he can peek just as they see the flashbang. They have to turn away right. from it. They're either fully blind or they try and challenge him, um, uh, turn away like they did. They both turn away. He comes round and he guarantees himself two kills. I think whatever happens there, they're either blind or uh, they allow him to do that. Either way, they will force by here. Two AKs and a UMP really is falling apart again. Still early days, though. They're on the T side, but this does not bode well. For the future rounds, Major finds the first pick again. As Good find, Calix, top of the wall. Ooh. Fallen does get one back with the CZ, but bomb down Paz is there to hold it as well. Cold needs to do something with that UMP now. Incendiary does a fractional damage further to Fallen. In fact, Antares is able to pounce on top of him. So Cold versus three. He knows the bomb's there, he knows Paz is there. He's gonna try and flush him out, but even if he does that, watch the bottom of mid, because Engine was getting in position. He managed actually to kill onto Paz, fair enough. But 5-1 for Space Soldiers, and yeah, that 2-0 is looking more and more likely with every round they get on the CT side. They just don't look ready for this, do they? SK, their pick, and they're getting absolutely manhandled right now. That was the force by no plants again. They're probably gonna have to eco at this point. Deagle's arm up, Lost Bone is currently at second stage. Can't really invest that much, to be honest. Cold Zera gets some armor. That's the only player going to be operating in that manner. The rest of them pretty much full eco. Stewie and Fallen just with Glocks. Bolts of a P250. Fell the CZ. I'll say it one more time. 
I promise, as uh, we're using the old patch here. It's not the new one we're all excited about with the CZ nerfs and the Mirage changes, which is a good patch. Everyone was expecting the Panorama uh, GUI. Didn't get that, but uh, that, that might be a sign of what's to come. I did like, as Kallax could approach to go back out. Oh, well, Blinded right. off, though. We're down to a two versus two, and there's guns available at the top of middle, but not if engine's able to rotate fast enough to the arch. Cold's got a UMP. So he's gotten the UMP that was underneath the atrium in Kallax's hands. Not a rifle, which means range a problem. He goes to the Deagle for that reason. He wants to try and take a head off before they get close. Knows there's one for the taking. Nearly a second. Not sure why Engine was still looking deep in the side. It's a one versus two. I think he was expecting somebody else. Cold with a Deagle finally gets SK around. Well, that Space Soldier has dropped the ball there. Great shot from Cold Zero, but that felt like a lock-in, especially once they headshot him. That uh, didn't really get any bullets off at all. SK certainly get a lifeline there. That was one very important round from Cold Zero. Have a look at the money for Space Soldiers. It's actually cost them almost everything. This is great from Space Soldiers, as uh, from Cold Zero, but uh, you can see the coordination a bit off there. They could have got in together. They made it essentially two 1v1 situations. So, like I said, going into this one, sure, I agree with you. Inferno was a good map for them, but it felt like only when Cold Zero was winning clutches like that time and time again. Yeah, and that's absolutely true. I mean, if he has to do that on a Deagle, has to do that late in the round. Look, they get one that they didn't have guns or didn't buy fully into, so fair play, but it's certainly a sign of this series and SK as a whole, perhaps as of late. Yeah, I'm just looking at the purchases right now. Not a lot of money on the Space Soldiers side. I think they might concede a partial buy in this round. Just to go back to what I was saying before that round exploded. I like that CS devs actually said how much time's left on that food the day that they were releasing the patch. So they were kind of hinting it. I didn't see that. The, the one, the guy who locked his grandmother in a cage until the CZ was nerfed. Oh, really? Yeah. That's quite good. I didn't see that. Well, it is the full eco for Space Soldiers. A couple of flashbangs and a little beast stack coming through. Such a shame they, they lost the run of that mana because that could have been their half hands down. That could have been absolutely everything, but... Fortunately, he does slip away. They're down to a full eco now. Five to three, almost guaranteed. I can't see a world. Even with the B stack here, they give this round up. SK, that is. Flashing towards spawn. They have not done a default. They've got no mid control. They are walking into the stack. But still, just a solid USP. Should be absolutely fine. And there we go. The kill is coming in SK's favor. Good finds. Cold with two. That'll certainly make things easy. He finds Kallax pushing through. Finally, a convincing round. First one for SK. So as you say, it took cold on a clutch to get them into position to capitalize, and then now they start to be a little more assertive. That said, it was the partial by four space soldiers, so they'll bring out their full... Okay, fair enough. Full weapons, but not an AWP. They could not afford one, so... I say they couldn't afford one. They could have. They could have gone glass cannon, but they elect not to, and rightfully so. So, space soldiers recovering after... Lose it to a pretty much full eco there. They've got three players towards B. A little bit more aggressive this time. Nades coming through. Can they get the first kills? Fallen's going to struggle here with the AWP as Zantaras gets the first. Surely that's enough, boys. You can fall back at this point. That grenade's going to do a lot of damage towards Zan as he'll fall back. He's on 36 HP. Major will have to drop that smoke and try and survive here. Lots of damage being inflicted. Stewie knows there's a play on the other side. Can he get anything done? Absolutely not. As all the utility is thrown towards B, but only one player stands on the T side, and that's Cold Zero trying to save the AWP at this point. Presumably, he gets a couple of kills. He always seems good for those. That was the set play from Space Soldiers. Three players to yes. B, they wanted dominance of Banana, and Fallen was, I think, a fraction of a second from getting that no scope off. Have you got that quick scope? Yeah, maybe that was uh, something there, but you can't rely on those. They were caught red handed there at the top of B. Bombs now could be found by Paz. Hopefully, he comes down the corner. There it is. Let's spot that. Now, Cold Zero, he's pretty much done for. There's about a 5% chance he survives this round. Yeah, with 40 seconds still to play. They know where they the bomb is. Yeah. Where else could he be? They've got a guy at top middle as well. They're all pushing down. Pretty straightforward. AWP available. Do they want it? Yes, they do. So they'll bring one up on the CT side without having to invest into it. And we go 6-3 as soon as the guns were brought back out. SK fail to get on the board. And that was so close. I, I Fallen, I think, was a... He must have been pressing mouse one as he died. Yeah, that is a shame. 
six to three. Still anyone's game at this point. Remember, they're on the T side of Inferno, but uh, this is their pick, and it hasn't started off in the most promising way, but still plenty of rounds to go here in the first. We'll see UMP for Stewie, but the Orb for Major, he's going to have nothing against him. That's why he can be a little bit more aggressive with his peek towards the T-steps. Most Orpers will just check the underpass. Oh my god, he can hear footsteps though, going up towards the bedroom. He is feeling brave right now. I like it. The lack of respect as he hunts for almost anything he can. T-steps, underpass, second middle. Does fall back in the end as Zantaras. He'll be aggressive as well. Stewie, everyone knows he works this area by himself, and he has been bested a couple of times now. He currently sits on two frags and eight deaths. Anyone, a in this, anyone in this group that's watching this game, this series, it's going to be licking their lips. I mean, if you're NTC, you're the Dark Horse, potentially. Least known team, least available demos. SK struggling. Space Soldiers sending a message. Mouse Sports with nothing. I think this group's wide open if this is the way SK are playing. Yeah, we don't have much information about NTC. That's FNX's team. Anyone's not aware. Um, obviously, used to play for SK. Oh, my goodness. Zantares through the smoke finds two. They go and peek at the same time, trying to have a crossfire at the top of middle. But they get completely punished there. He didn't even see anyone and gets two frags. That's job done by him. Round should be over. It's up to Bolts to try and recover. He's he goes probing towards the quad by himself. It has made decent entrance, at least, towards that side of the map. He has been undetected so far. Good Molotov and Kallax will have to fall back, but Paz has got his back as they commit 25 seconds here. Kallax probably goes down. Okay, maybe not. He gets three kills, secures the round, and his cold zero again. And another clutch, oh, but he can win my. this map. This will be an ace and a five versus one if he can pull it off. He's got 15 seconds, still needs to plant, but what an amazing play to start things. He's, he's unsure, though, and that's the problem. He still has to plant. Bombs down to the pit. He thinks they're inside of the site still. Spots a fourth, but needs to get to the bomb. Six seconds, has to commit, and in doing so, he's left himself oh, wide open from it. quad. He's got to get his gun out in time. He's not done Ooh. enough. He was convinced, certain, that there was a third or fourth, rather, player inside of the site. It doesn't work out. Three quick kills, nonetheless, for the back-to-back -back number one player in the world. Not having the best of seasons, but you can't really blame that on him because SK in the same disarray. Just to note, on our sister stream, yes. phase overran Ghost. So 16-4, 16-8. Can I see the nothing. full lineup of Ghost? That is Steel's team now, so he's Kusta, not called Talk anymore. That's right. Right. Yeah. And what was it called? 2-0. Any, what was the map scores, do we know? 16, uh, 16 oh, okay. 4, so 16, they, they, they got right, but yeah. still against FaZe, that was to be expected. He's your right? old mate. He is, he's played a team with him. They're the uh, most Canadian team that we have, so I have to cheer for them, but it's not going well. There we go. That's the update for you. You can stay here now, as uh, 7-3 to three Space Soldiers running away with it again. Look at the force by Matt. Two MAC-10s, a CZ, the AKs, they're fully invested into this one. Not even AKs, AK, singular. Far with the Galil. Good luck, sons. This is not a great call, I have to say, but if ever there's a team who could put it off, sure, SK would be up in that conversation. Smoke out inside of the apartments. That comes with a minute and 13 left on the clock, so it'll slow them down. The nade. That's a beefy nade. If they had maximum loss bonus, I'd say, sure, this makes sense. You'd get, they'd probably get the bomb down this sort of buy. They're only at second stage, so you're trashing your own economy with this sort of buy in a very unlikely scenario. You can see they've got two smokes, no real map control at all. Apartments, you're almost going to get that every single default. Top of middle hasn't been achieved yet. It looks like it will. It's a very passive hold. Great call from Space Soldiers, just holding back, knowing the money's going to be low. Zaltara is presumably dealt with here, but he still stays alive for now, but Cold Zero will eventually take him down. Kalik still waiting inside of the pit. Flashed off, hugs the corner, and his teammate Paz will bail him by getting the first kill. That allows him to easily walk back out and control the situation. Bomb Second down, kill for him, and your right bomb just went toward the pit. Bolts was desperate for no reason to have jumped in that direction. Fallen might recover it. He has, but he's got a cross major. Oh. They had no idea he'd slip back toward the quad, and it's cold again. That has to clutch the round. 17 seconds, and rather than going for the bomb, he's going hunting an engine. Oh, my goodness, turns around and finds the headshot. Do you see what happens? Like, this is what exactly I was talking about. Cold Zero seems to be alive in those scenarios. He's got seven. 17 kills, right away. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed right now. And three, this is exactly what I described coming to this one. The team is shaky on this map, but he is a god. He keeps them in it, and he's doing absolutely everything he can. He can't do any more than kill everyone on entry, have clutches every single time, come in touching distance to winning them. If the rest of the team can't find kills at all, my god. He had some great games last week, but that uh, doesn't seem to be quite enough here. Eight to three as the nades come in again. Pistols are out. Major 
shot out and makes the successful hit onto Fallen with the AWP. Yeah, Cold's gonna be livid, I think, at the situation in this game. Yeah, he looks great. No one else does. Antares takes down Stewie. It's gonna go nine to three already for Space Soldier. He's 17 kills. He's top fragging on the server by five frags. And with 12 rounds in, they have three on the board. Cold Zero finds another opening here. Surely he, oh my God, this is so sick by him. How is he playing this well? Unbelievable scenes. He gets the third map. He's got 20 yeah, kills now. This is unreal. If, if he wins this round, I mean, surely they should. It's a three versus two bomb planted, but it, it, it's all on him. I was about to say that a lot of his kills have come late in the round, which I, I don't want to fault him for because they've been spectacular, but they haven't had the same impact. This is a little bit different. This is him finally opening up a round and giving them a chance to win with teammates alive. Unbelievable scenes. How is he doing this? It's going to be the fourth round. Space Soldiers, their money, pretty... Poor, actually. Zero dollars for Calix. Antara is a thousand dollars. If they save this one rifle, they pretty much have a buy, but it doesn't ask it to happen. Or maybe it will. He's actually got away quite safely. Mages all the way towards Romeo there. So he'll fall back, but a, my God, Cold Zero is playing out of his mind. I'm not sure how much more he can do. So Major could be using the CZ here just to make sure he guarantees that frag. He's trying to save the orb. He can drop a weapon, and Engine's got 7k, so they should be okay. There'll be a couple of compromises, maybe a shotgun Inferno, it's actually very viable, but the orb's going to come up the first time. But let's just look and appreciate the absolute sensational play here from Cold Zero. How is he keeping them alive here? He's on 20 kills, 8 deaths. The closest to him on his team is 5 and 10. Beneath that, 2 frags for Stewie, 3 for Fur, 3 for Bolts. He, this is an absolute carry, and they've only got 4 rounds. Yeah. If they win this game... Even if they all turned it on now, they'd have to thank him for those four rounds alone. Well, this is exactly what I was talking about coming into the game. I think I've said that multiple times on Inferno about this squad, and it just blows my mind that they're happy to pick this map. I don't think they're a great Inferno team. Cold Zera the is an amazing, amazing, amazing Inferno player, but that's about it. The hard part as well is how do you get hyped about this? You can't just sit there and, and, and be like, yes, we got a round. No, you're not. The, it's, it's one man, and yeah. Cold's going to feel like it, it's all for naught in some ways because the other guys can't really be happy with their performance, surely. Major going out again with the AWP. Flashes are everywhere, including yeah. in front of him, and yeah, there's no chance he gets a kill against Dewey in that situation. Finally, that pick doesn't work because it has so many times already. That gives a five versus four to SK with a minute to work with. It's the most time they've had with the man advantage this early in a round, I should say, with the opening pick, I should say. I'll put engine above. And it's an execution toward A with four in B from Space Soldiers. Very early rotation, I'm surprised by that. They haven't done much to warrant that. That's just a bit of a gamble call from Space Soldiers. And a wrap around they go. Oh boys, they still don't know the site's open, please. Thank you, don't go Arch. I was going to say you'd run directly toward them. They have the site and they're gonna realize, hang on, this doesn't make much sense, but it's open. It'll be a save on the Space Soldiers side, naturally. It will indeed. Even with four players up, they're, they're holding on to the little economy they have. So two M4s and now an AWP picked up. Engine will find that from Major's corpse. It's surprising that SK didn't throw that away with that initial kill towards the top of B. And they had that behind the barrels. You think you just throw that up and you're in pretty much the only place you can throw away weapons towards that. Um, we should call that graveyard back in stores. I'm not sure what you'd call that now. It's not really a position. But you know what I mean, where you could throw the Molotov through before up there. Yeah, the the uh, the, the fence. The fence, The yeah. wicket, the, pick, the pick, picket fence, the white sure. picket fence. The white picket fence. By the grassy knoll. Indeed. <laughs> Well, nine players will survive this round, perhaps. Not a common occurrence, but one that Space Soldiers will welcome given the circumstances of losing a pick early on. That all came to Stewie, so we got a highlight. It's our only highlight of the round. Not the cleanest of kills. <laughs> Bit awkward, yeah. But they all count, and that's going to be Eska Gaming now looking competitive on the map. Cold Zero has won them a full eco round, and then Another eco round with just a deagle. So, uh, congrats to him. If they win this map, they can shake his hand and thank him very thoroughly as the orb will come out again, safe in the previous round. They've got utility this time. Space Soldiers eight so far. As they'll be nading down towards the bottom of B. No nades connecting just yet. Using the smoke to extinguish the flames. Paz, challenge now towards middle. Hasn't really got the ideal weapon. And so he'll be dropped by Fur. Looks like a couple of kills are coming for SK at this point. And they should be able to pick this round up. A is completely open again. So they've 
Worked out the weakness, and they're trying to capitalize upon it now. Bomb down for Fallen. It was nine players last round. It might be seven this time. SK starting to build up a bit of a bank, though. They might justify going hunting. Not fully committed to that as of yet. But this brings it to 8-6. So welcome to the game, SK. Yes, absolutely. That's now going to be three rounds in a row for them. They might be able to find a couple of kills here and force Space Soldiers to an EK for the last round. If they get one kill, that'll pretty much be the case. Not going to happen just yet. That might send SK packing now through, back through the smoke. We'll see. Uh, needs to be careful here. Speculative shots towards the side, but three players do survive, including the orbs. They will force by here the best they can. Final round of the first half. So obviously they'd be forced by him regardless. This makes things a little bit stronger for them. AK for engine, or for Major. I'd say Major needs to go towards middle now. But this in Fallen Smart, which he is, absolutely. Uh, he'll be calling right now. We're going for a B attack. We've really bullied the A side the last few rounds. Is walking up there and finding two players. And I assume the AWP Major goes towards middle this time. It actually doesn't. It stays a B. So I guess the idea maybe get him set up at the barrels, but he really hasn't had much success the last few rounds with that approach. Stewie takes a nade in the face at the half wall. And so, for now at least, no opening picks coming in just yet, but Fur wants to change that up. Smoke towards quad after spotting two players there. Grenade to follow up, and now can focus towards the top of middle. Will he be able to find his first kill? Not quite. Pass takes him down. Pass indeed takes him down. So Fur bowing out early gives the lead back to Space Soldiers in a last-ditch effort on their weaponry. ADP for Majors. Been actually quite promising throughout, but we'll see if he can finally get it back in Banana comfortably. He seems a little more timid than he had previously, having lost out to Stewie two rounds ago. Kallax, meanwhile, still inside of the pit, is going to have company. There's no question about that. Zantaras will support it. In fact, he's going to smoke it off further, but they want to explode through that smoke. Doesn't even matter, Kallax. The headshot onto Fallen Bolts with a flash at his aid. He's able to find Zantaras, but Kallax behind the wall is never deterred and was easily able to drop the bomb further. It's two versus four. I think we get a 9-6 half, Henry. Maybe, but we'll see. Cold Zera is alive, Matt, and you know True. what kind of things he can do on this particular map. But it's going to be a four versus one. It'll have to be unspeakable things he'll have to present here as he gets the first and the second. It's on now, but Engine will finally take him down there. It was getting a little bit out of control, but what a half from Cold Zera. He does finish on 23 frags, nine deaths. You know what the closest is to him? Five. That's actually pretty insane. 23, and the next best on your team has five, and somehow they get away with a 9-6 scoreline, a winnable scoreline on Inferno. Yeah. Someone give that man a pat on the back and a cold beer when this is over. Absolutely so. question is, is it over this map, or do we go to Dust 2? Because, like I said, that is a winnable scoreline. As we look back, cold was phenomenal. That clutch on the Deagle, even though he had picked up a weapon. I still have to say, you can't discount Space Soldiers. They looked organized. The rounds where they had three players going to be, they absolutely knew they wanted banana controlled, and they played accordingly. They lost to two Ecos as well. If that hadn't have happened, that would have been, I would say, a 12-3 half. But Cold Zera kept them in it with those Deagle plays. That round especially, I would stop saying that would be 12-3 half, maybe more. There's the scores on the doors, and it's really not good news for SK. That might seem amazing. Oh, he's got the best player in the world. Of course, he's going to get all the frags. No, actually, that's really quite shocking that that's the disparity in the score like all four players combined don't have as many frags as gold zero that's uh, a bit of an issue either way we will get into the first round of the second half as paz goes towards top of middle this is going to be an a attack maybe towards spawn not quite three players at b and bolts knows he has to hit some shots here gets the first can he find any more fur will join in as well they're both in the pit pretty much the perfect position to shut this down should be an sk round at this point space or decide this is to that bomb down we're not going to win so at least let's get that money for the next round it's not being planted yet what's going on engine it's battling he's trying to take down cold bombs with Paz, he's still in an exchange toward Pit. He didn't really get comfortable behind the box until now. Six HP, they will get it down, but he on six, and all four players of SK on the A site. It's still not like they have a lot of time. It is, you're right. I won't discount it, but that's okay. the problem. It's so low. <laughs> Stewie, even if he goes through the smoke, can get the jump, but the CZ wins it out. It goes nine to seven, and again, this is absolutely winnable. Yeah, well, there we go. SK. Four players survived. That's pretty much the best setup they could have had for that particular strategy that Space Soldiers did bring to the table there. We will see 
we will see the wrap coming around from the pip and that's going to be Stewie just to finish things off so like we said Bolt and Fur both in the pip of USPs best possible position they could have been in it was quite a basic approach for Spade so just get towards the arch try and trade out frags with the range just let them down somewhat bomb defused and three rifles for SK here they're all for masses one UMP and MP9 the AK is coming on the third remember so not out of the woods just yet 3-0 not necessarily completely on at this point there's the odds provided by Betway Space Soldiers the favorites. I would dare say the SK can still definitely pull this one back though, especially with that pistol victory. Now on the CT side, should be more comfortable there. As Fallen pushes down towards B. First headshot comes in, Fallen. Down to 55, that's courtesy of a Glock. So that's not bad at all. Fallen, meanwhile, still firing down toward the smoke. Bolts is gonna need in the apartments. That's gonna be perfectly placed. I say that, and they read it. Zontaros doesn't have to move because it's CSGO nades, so it's not gonna go down the stairwell. And Paz is able to jump backwards when the nade lands as Calix is tagged onto 16. Cold's running, running and gunning. He's not sure where to position himself because they're heading in both approaches toward the boiler and toward the pit. They've gotten pit with trading him out, but the bomb goes the way of Fur. He sees it flying forward and he'll pounce at the opportunity to try and hold it down inside of the hallways with the FAMAS has fallen as well. Is wanting desperately to get over closer to his teammates. The problem is the Major, although it's only a Glock, has actually positioned himself very well to get behind Fallen and makes no mistake on the shot. So we still sit two versus two. This was Glock's no armor across the board. And it's now a two versus two, which is... I'm you don't sound impressed. I'm just saying like that, that's... That context going into this round is an absolute disaster. SK give this round up. Glock's and no armor. Not a P250 in sight. They were preparing for the AKs in the third, but luckily Fire has got control of the bomb. SK should still win this round. Great grenade coming in as well. That's Zantaro's out of the round, and that should be round over, I would say. Okay. Ooh, wait, maybe not. No. That was the nade they wanted earlier. The problem is he's got 10 seconds from here to the site to plant, meaning if Stewie's smart, he knows he has he to is. plant yeah, immediately, and therefore Stewie is positioned perfectly. They lost four players in the, pro the process, though, and now we get AKs out for Space Soldiers. The money's going to be so low for SK. How have they given up four kills to just the Glocks here? They're pushing, they're trying to find kills. That was a great play from Major. That range of the Glock's not easy. No, not at all. And we'll see five AKs, utility, and what does it look like for SK? They should be able to get rifles out still. So yeah, you can see three M4s. Cold Zero, no utility whatsoever. A UMP of mass to go one kit. It's still going to be a very difficult round. Fur, no grenades also. So pretty much enough for M4 armor. That was about it. Round 18. Do or die time for SK. They can... Word of the storm here, that will be enough to suggest it can win this map. Lose this one, there could be a double eco going forward. We will see. Antara's, meanwhile, bottom of banana. Flash goes high. For, well, rotate over early. So, three inside of. B, they never get enough control of Banana to rotate off and fortify A. Rather, they want to try and take Banana control late. Watch the boost. Zontaris went up. I thought Fur would have spotted that. Didn't. Goes back out. Takes damage for it. And only returns one shot. They're about equal, except the fact that Fallen also took damage. So it's slight favor to Space Soldiers. More importantly, though, they push the CTs back. Cole had to rotate off the quad side to cover the arch because that was due to the early rotation. That's now come back. So Cole fortifies in the site. He's gotten one kill to start it off. Bolts is just trying to deploy utility to hold his position and it has to be fur that makes the difference he'll find Zontaris cold gets one more and it's all fur that was well timed by cold he knew exactly that he had to buy one kill and a bit of space to get fur back in position that was really nice from cold zero once again finding multiple frags 26 to his name now first starting to wake up as well as he hits double digits space soldiers no plan there that was a big round for them he won that that's gonna be full AK for SK money in the bin but actually Quite a lot of numbers survived. Four players for the Brazilian squad surviving there. Great flank from Fur. And I think the force buy not quite coming in from Space Soldiers. Just a partial buy here. The money's still okay. He does leave himself about $2,000 per player. Get a few smokes and flashbangs. And we did see SK still plenty of ecos away before. Can Space Soldiers replicate that sort of success? Doesn't look like it. Lots of damage done at the start. But of trade. Oh my goodness. Uh, trade coming through. But Stewie does pretty much secure it with that double kill. Remember, they've got no armor, so they do melt as soon as any bullets come near them. So 
So Engine and Major. They have the bomb. A minute to work with if they can get one kill on the B site. Basically just waiting for Engine at this point to get in position. If they can get one kill on the B site, this is still to play for. Oh, this is interesting. I thought he'd just go to Banana and they'd start to work that. But with a minute, they're going to spread out and see if they can find a pick either or A or B at this point, I suppose. What's the call from Engine? I get, I get the point of wanting to find one on either side. I think it has to be Arch. Yeah, he's going to have to try and find a kill here and wrap through Arch. If he can get to Arch even undetected, even without a kill, which isn't going to happen because Cold is looking that direction. But look at the crosshair placement. That AK could have certainly done it. That'll be the round. If he had gotten by Cold, if he'd found Cold either or and gotten into the archway and swung through CT, might have had a chance at it. But good hold from SK in the end. 10-9. to nine. They've got the lead back. It is almost the polar opposite of what we saw on Cash in that SK looked brilliant in the first half and were non-existent in the second. They were slow to start this time, and now they're rolling. Definitely are. This is looking much better now. They've got the 4-0 start in the second half. They won the pistol. They managed to negate the four spies, the third round AKs. And we'll see Stewie's son have a pretty decent game towards B as well. Nice to see him fragging. Big fan of his. We'll see Cold Zero up with the AWP now. Not fallen. We did see this quite a lot recently. Especially as Star Ladder. Mixing things up when Fallen potentially not really feeling it. Or maybe Cold Zero is. Yeah, it's interesting. They talked about Stewie potentially picking it up as the second op or, or, or second primary op or not when they have both. Sure. Not to confuse you. But it's Cold that wields it instead and it's stewie that will hold with fallen on b crossfire setup the miss harvey and potter setup <laughs> they used to love this ct site crossfire did they they did i don't know why yeah. i remember that can't say i'm familiar but i trust you i was back in like the ub united days okay some history for y'all all of y'all Cold, meanwhile, going to re-smoke toward the top of middle, cover off the arch side. Stewie's going to do the same shortly. Oh, the problem is he actually peaked when they were staggered. So Zontaris is going to be pushed up quite a bit. They can capitalize on that strictly by position because they're out a lot further than Stewie realizes. Good entrance from Engine. Two kills, falling down as well, and we find ourselves in a five versus three with the B site lost. Major lurking and finding bolts. So I'm going to get, let's go ahead and put a stop to this. They're no longer defending themselves, Henry. 10 10. Yeah, you're the referee calling it. I am. Well, Sorry, it Connor. <laughs> it will be fun and cold Zera to uh, hold on to their weaponry. Their money must be absolutely fine, though. It's not as strong as I potentially thought, but uh, we'll see them hold on to whatever they can. They're both in towards CT spawn, actually, just one of them. The other player will be at the quad area. Nonetheless, Fur. Still underneath of the quad to try and save. So double digits achieved for both sides. Naturally, Cold Zera is alive, has the AWP, and never really get to fire it in this round, Henry. It's a shame. Didn't really get to do much, but still, that's the first round for Space Soldiers there. Four to one now, as they managed to keep four players alive themselves. They're much more successful with their good entries from Engine. As he cracks up in that B side, the pre-fire towards first oranges is just a little bit brutal there for Fallen as he holds that particular position. Down he goes, we're all tied up. Still could go either way, but it feels like three maps on the cards now. That is dust two for those playing at home. And Stewie and Cold Zero on the orbs. No, I didn't think I'd ever be saying that. Yeah, when you've fallen on the team and he's not even the second opper, something is certainly awry. But cold to middle. Cold to middle with a nade down. That reticle, the par or particles, I should say, not reticle. The particles from that nade could have given a position to swing wide and try and get a peek to the player in the stairwell. He never likes to go for it. Instead, we switch perspectives to Kallax, who's taking over the apartments for the space soldiers. Do you remember space invaders? Who could we should forget. call that one of their strategies. The space invaders. Yeah, it's like That's if they're like taking idea. over map control in a certain area. But I swear we don't do enough puns with like the galaxy or the universe or like All Star right, Siege, don't, don't give it away that we're going to. <laughs> I think yeah, we should maybe build something up for that. But uh, here we go. It will be the B execution coming through, but it is going to be the man advantage held for SK Gaming as Engine gets blown out of the galaxy. There It'll be it dropped with the AWP, <laughs> <laughs> and it will be the four versus two now. Well, Kallax and Paz 
Certainly going to have to go to light speed. Maybe yeah. look for some leap years, as you call them, Henry, because they've got to get inside of the site with 46 seconds, and Bolts catches Kallax in transition. Paz left in a one versus three. Starting to fall down the black hole. Paz will have to hold on as 35 seconds remain, and it looks like he's got almost zero chance here. They're going to take him down. Paz will drop. That's the reset for the T side here. They still have a bit of money, though. Remember, they did have four players survive in that one round. They did win. It's 5-1 overall. Fist bump starting to come through. It's starting to see some more promising numbers, at least, for SK. 12 kills now for Fur. He's in second place, but Bolt's still down to 7-14. and 14. Fallen and Stewie having a very quiet game, but uh, I feel like that's going to turn around. I do feel confident that SK can win this one now, and we'll see. Does two for a, for once. We, we very rarely see it. ECS, we didn't really get to cast it too much. It's still a new map. I'm surprised like, it, it shouldn't have a steeper learning curve as like, maybe I'm trying to think of a good example here when maybe Nuke came in back in the sure, Apple, yep. right? Everyone knows the play does too. It's quite simple in terms of the way it's approached. Not too much technical executions required. Very default, everyone's playing the same way. Uh, I thought we'd see it more. But uh, for now, two tactical timeouts left for space soldiers. As they speak to their captain right now of the ship. That is Major. It's quite an appropriate name, really. It is. It is. Major Tom, that's not a good one to be in space. No. Just yeah, leave the ship running, go, go for a spacewalk. Well, Stewie and Fallen with that much arsenal or, uh, utility being thrown. It's a bit like a meteor shower at the bottom <laughs> of a banana. <laughs> that's, that's good. I would be surprised you haven't had fun with this before. I know. Be I actually am myself. Um, round 22, we're going to see a little set piece towards A, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see set pieces come out more regularly when you have these sort of buys. You're going to have three rifles. You want to send in these lesser weapons first, drop a couple of smokes, try and get as close to the CTs as you possibly can before they can pull the trigger. There it is. Fallen's missed the first shot, but first got such a great spot here. Fallen can't really connect with the orb just yet, but Kallax can with that AK as he barrels through the quad area. It looks like this will be a CZ around to tie things up, but Bolt's still fighting back with two kills. Major with a CZ, though, getting the job done. Two versus two. Bolt didn't take any damage there, surprisingly. He's had a quiet game so far, but that's much better by him. Stewie with the AWP, smoked out. Really frustrating for him. Can't really fall back and do much of it at all. As Kallax and Major both hold up in position. Do we have the AWP? They smartly give one of those to Kallax. He's low. Means that he can actually be competitive in the fights. He can go for the one-tap kills. Stewie in the library, though. The timing looks like it could elude him. Oh, oh my no. god, it does. Has to go for the quick scope. That means B is wide open. They know it. Bolts has been playing in the pit this entire game. And he'll get a kill. What's Major up to? Why wouldn't he just book it with his teammate? Kallax lucky he has the Yorp. He can go for a plant. I would say just play new boxes. Go for the kill in CT spawn. You're not going to win a close range clutch. Get that bomb down and look towards that area. That would be my play at least at this point. Bolts is even confused by that because he's wondering, hang on, if he's turning around and looking to the site, where's his teammate gone? So he is slow on the rotation. You're right. This gives the op a chance. He's not gone to new box he's got a ruins maybe okay fair enough he's looking towards ct he should still he has the advantage should still hit the shot but now missing it it's the boot on the other foot five hp he's got to get the second one and he just barely does yeah. as bolts gets taken down we sit on 11 11. high pressure moment there and that's a real difficult round for sk to give up bolts seemed like he did enough like i said he didn't take any damage you can see why now as he's in the pit he does manage to find a couple of kills there, but it wasn't quite enough. Major brought it down to the one versus one with his, I'm not going to say misplay. You can see what he was trying to do. That his teammate goes plant. He's waiting in spawn. Then it all could possibly fall apart. But uh, either way, Bolts taken down by Cadex. And that just goes to show you that's why the low HP player gets given the AWP because you have that one shot potential. And is this a force buy? Oh my goodness. They're actually going for him out. They've wow. spent all the money they've got on the AWP for Fallen. You've got three players hovering around $1,500. This could be a real tragic move from SK. This falls apart. Fallen, who's currently on nine kills, 16 deaths at 11 11. He could be making a wish right now to try and open things up with the AWP. He's certainly capable of doing so. Haven't seen any vintage rounds from him yet, really, so far in this series. I want to see him really drop a bomb on them here. We'll see what happens. Fallen. He's got an angle to go toward lower mid. He's creeping out there. Major is certainly staring back and has his 
vision, excuse me, firmly fixed in that angle. He already had the position in his favor. Thankfully, he's moved off of it. So Falling can still hold toward the top of middle. Doesn't want to go beyond the bench. Now he will. Realizes that there's no one inside of middle. Get ready toward B. Does that even call for an early rotation? That's the question because they could still be alt mid, sure. But likely that they're going to be in this position and pistols inside of the site you would have expected. They would have reacted sooner. Ouch. Taras takes out Stewie cleanly as we just saw the body hit the floor. Well, there we go. That's the pounce towards the B side. One player remains there. Cold Zero can connect the initial shots. He'll be punished for that. It's now the five versus three fall. And remember, he invested absolutely everything. The orb was actually dropped by Cold Zero. He needs to show it was a worthwhile investment. Can he find anything here? Gaps in the smoke, but still no frags found. He's at the full back through the flames once again this time. I feel like the round is over. It's going to be Space Soldier stealing back the lead map after losing four rounds in a row. They're actually down 5-1 at one stage. Is that four spy with the CZs, the MAC-10s. They got them back in a more of a promising position. But for now, SK might just have to save everything they can. I don't think Fallen fired a shot with the AWPs. He didn't give up the fact he has that weapon necessarily. So that could bode well. He gets another chance into the next round. Although giving up this one is a little bit disappointing. So 12-11 on the four spy. They, as you say, carry that off over. But this puts Space Soldiers back into the lead, having already won the first map. Interesting situation to find yourself in, SK. Back on home soil yet again. The second of ESL international events that we've had in this country over a span of roughly 16 to 18 months. Maybe a little more, maybe, I don't know. I have to do the math. I didn't, I didn't prepare that one, but something like that. Yeah. I like you made the effort. You took a stab in the dark. Stab at it, yep. Well, let's see. This is month six. That was on month 10. Yeah. 10 to 12, 6, 18 months. There we go. 18 months. And Major completely Actually, destroys that's, that's, that's for 20 him. months. I Let me wrong. do my thing. <laughs> As he gets the first kill, it will be the five versus four. Stewie picks up the AWP. He's got no armor, remember, and hasn't been a star-studded performance from him. As he'll be removed as well. Zantar is an absolute tear right now. Last two, well, last round he got two very impactful kills. Cold Zera, he could have got that orb, but still wouldn't have helped him out too much. He's going to sit on the corner. Presumably he's pre-fired at this point. Paz will drop him there, fur and bolts. Orb's gone. Did they invest much into this round? They did not, but they've only got third stage loss bonus. They've got about $1,500 per player right now, and they're going to get $2,400 per player into the next. Let's position from first, quite cheeky, as he steals away the AK-47. All players will survive a space soldiers, but they increase their lead. If you're just joining us, this is the group stages. There's only eight teams at this particular event, so that means we can have a best of three format. Everyone likes that, and uh, for now, space soldiers up one map. That was their pick of cash, and SK Gaming now on theirs. Never really been, for me at least, a very convincing Inferno team. It was Cold Zero who dropped 23 frags in the first map. And using our new little system, we can actually look how many frags he's got this half. He's got six in this half, 23 in the first, so certainly dropped off the pace. But Bolt, trying to keep the dream alive here you somewhat. Know what? Go on. Fine if he's dropped off the pace due to other people contributing, and that's what Bolt has done. Yes, he's certainly got some frags as he holds the pits here. Doing financial damage, of course. Engine might want to be a little bit careful here. No bolts is lingering around somewhere. It goes for all the pre-fires, but they will save two weapons this round. That's going to help out, excuse me, tremendously well. Here's Major. What a shot that was. Fallen. Blown out the water. Has to operate in a nice close-range manner there with the UMP. 13-11. This round might decide it. They'll have fourth state loss bonus, but they are pretty much fully invested here, SK. AWP for Cold Zero. Fallen. 9-17. and 17. Really hasn't... Shown us that vintage level of performance just yet. Cold to hold. He's got the AWPs on Tarez is approaching. Oh, missed shot. Cold. It was almost like he went th straight through him. That was reminiscent of Draken. Moved when he didn't need to. Fallen. Gets a good shot onto Zontarez. A fall off back through the smoke. Flash out once more. And Paz is waiting. Red perfectly. Both flashes turned away and snapped back as Bolts now has to hold the pit with Stewie on rotation. It's a four versus two. A 14th round potentially available for Space Soldiers and Kallax. That's incredible. 
Not so much that Molotov from Stewie, unless he actually decided not to bounce it and wanted to just preserve himself and not allow a chase. That could make sense. Oh, this is kind of awkward now. You just kind of feel like, yeah, Space Order's are decent, but they shouldn't be too zeroing SK comfortably, They're out of this world, they? this game, Henry. They are out of this world on an exploration mission to get out of the group stages here, and it's going very well so far. As they, what kind of uh, things would you find in space? Like moon rocks? I'm trying to think of like, objects you could find. I've never been there, so I can't tell you. Yeah, you've not, not been there? Okay, fair enough. Um, we could throw in some white dwarfs in there. That's well, I will say that winning a 2-0 series for space soldiers is about as rare as seeing Halley's Comet. Yeah, that, that is true. I think I'm, I might be done. I can't think of anything else. Maybe lasers, maybe it's quite tenuous link to space, but uh, that's about it. Worms. Space worms, wasn't space that like a well, thing? I think in that's like more a, of a sci fi thing. Yeah, that's sure. sci fi. It's like Dune in space. Yeah. You could say gases, okay. um, gravitational pulls. Gravitational pull is good. Lack of oxygen. Burning gas, because that's stars. Star, yeah. Um, Milky, well, Milky Way. Milky Ways, indeed. But uh, for now, it is round number 26, and it's a tactical timeout for SK Gaming. Their second of the game so far. They're 14 11 down. And they have saved over the orb. I think they need to decide, do they force buy here? I would say a partial buy. Stewie has got the AWP. 10 kills to his name. 29 for Cold Zero. He does not deserve to be on the losing squad. He's played out of his mind. And in terms of the overall investment, there we go, that lovely graphic. I do love this about ESL events. <clears throat> we get this brilliant bit of information, and we also get to look at the general mood and the vibe within a particular camp. This time we're looking at Space Soldiers. A team a couple of years ago, you'd say, oh, they might be able to take a map off someone here or there. At this point, I'd say they're real contenders in tournaments like this. And uh, not a team you take too lightly as the MP9s are out. One round away from series point, Matt, they've got an MP9, three pistols and an orb. Fallen, starting to hit some shots, so that's much better. Bravo, chap. Taras wants him back, though, when he's blinded. Just barely gets around the corner. Taras doesn't want to chase, doesn't think... It's safe to do so as he had his crosshair firmly aimed toward the sandbags. So good opening pick. They absolutely needed it. Still contesting toward the top of middle. They'll clear out the cubby. And with two in the apartments, although they're backing off, to be fair, but two in the apartments... And two toward the top of Middle Henry, I'd say the writing is on the mid wall. On the mid wall, it might be. Five versus four, 50 seconds remaining. Apartments and quad control coming in from Space Soldiers here. Flashbang deployed. Actually, make it the smoke and bolts. They'll just be sitting on the edge of the balcony. A good position with that CZ. Could cause a lot of damage here, but Cold Zero missing. A shot you'd think would be quite easy by his standards. Kallax will drop bolts as well. This could be series points. Bomb to be planted. And the AWP is up, but Stewie is down. So is Fur, and now that's going to be it. Fallen has to save it. This is going to be a 2-0 by the looks of things. Absolute nightmare for SK. He's slightly going for it. Gives his position up at least. Fallen. Now, with three kills, we're fine, but he just knows he can't win it. No kit, no utility. The orb to save, and that money will be a maximum loss by this next round, but they've got to win four rounds in a row. It has to be perfect from this point. It's been anything but up until this moment. He will save the orb by the looks of things here. He's going to hide in the back of B, but Space Soldiers know their money's absolutely fine. It's a very common position to hold at the shadow position. He does hit engine there, just to know, but unfortunately, he's right through the wall, barely did any damage, and it will be... Round number 27, four series points for Space Soldiers to 2-0 SK. Who would have thought? 29 kills for Cold Zero as well. Zontarez has closed that gap and gone to 24, but you're right. Who would have predicted this? It was an incredible start on one map, a slow start and a lead in the second half on the second, and it's gone dead quiet as SK. Look like they are going to have to really reflect upon this event. Last time they were in Brazil, well, I guess you say the most recent best of three they played in Brazil, they lost. They lost to Cloud9. I yeah. shouldn't say in Brazil, but in an international event. And now they find themselves starting off perhaps one series down again in their home country. Well, they do play against Ghost next, so that is something. I guess that's a game they probably should be winning, I'd imagine. Um, this one, I guess, is not a complete... Um, disaster in a sense that we wouldn't see this ever happening. I don't think 2-0 is ever on the cards, for me at least. I thought maybe three maps to steal it away on Dust2. 
Uh, but for now, they still haven't lost yet. SK can still get four rounds in a row. Fallen tagged up, 50 HP. This could be it, though. We'll see. Start to probe towards middle. All five players there. Fur, normally found in the boiler room, will be there once again. Bolts towards the apartments, and indeed, Cold Zero at the quad. No one towards Arch whatsoever. Fur, lucky to be alive. Six HP, but Major sprays them both down, and that should be GG. Bolts has been fragging hard from the balcony position so far, but can't find a single kill. And Matthew, I think the 2 0 is absolutely confirmed at this point. Fallen, been quiet with the AWP, and even silence rings in as he'll be dropped towards the arch. Stewie, that will be it, and it will be 16 11, 2 0 for Space Soldiers. Very convincing towards the end there. Yeah, absolutely convincing, and credit to Space Soldiers. Looked good throughout. Everyone contributing. Engine Major coming on as well. We always see Kallax and Zontaris playing very, very well. Cold, look, credit to him, but unfortunately, no, nowhere near what you'd expect from SK. 16-11, they lose this map and go down at 2-0. It's pretty much exactly what we described coming to Inferno. I'm still in disbelief why they've choose this as their map, their home map to go towards. I, I haven't seen any signs of life to suggest, wow, you can really see why they picked this particular one. It's that man on your screen right there that keeps them alive. But for now, Matthew, will go over to the analysts. Thank you so much, Henry. Yes, a lot of questions to be raised and hopefully answered by our analysts. I do have Chad and Jason joining us, Moses and Sponge, of course, respectively. Gents, uh, I have to ask, first things first, actually running with Henry's point, you know, this Inferno, we weren't sure about it when we first saw it in the Vita, but now mm. you've had, you know, you've had the answer. You've seen what SK were bringing, and it was absolutely nothing, or four out of five of them were bringing nothing into this first half. Yeah, that's time and time again that you do see Cold Zero stepping up, and maybe, you know, it's just because they're memorable games where he drops, like, huge first halves on those T sides to really get his team into the game, and that's why they might stick out a bit more. But SK are a team that thrive in the mid-round and the late round. They're not a team that really do that fantastically well in the beginning. They don't have that many set strats. They have what I call moves, right, where they have they get to a position and then they go from, from that point. This round right here, he wins that round and then they get another one on the board because Space Soldiers take a full eco. So you got to think about that. That's two rounds that he just won by himself and then obviously had so much more impact on other rounds keeping the economy low for Space Soldiers. I mean, then he almost won like a, a one versus five and as well... Um, that was something where it brought their economy so incredibly low that it felt yeah. like, you know, once they eventually did win a round, that, that just adds more to it. So, yeah, Cold Zero is really the only one that keeps them alive in this in this game overall in that first half. Nine multi-kill rounds. Here's here's the problem, though. I mean, we question the Inferno thing, and it's, it's, it's hard to kind of judge it because you have to kind of think of this SK team. Um, you know, they're still kind of in that mode where I think we, we kind of picture them as that dominant squad over the years. This is a team you kind of have to look at, like, they're down in the tier two trying to become a tier one team again. And in that kind of a, if well, you look at them in that kind of a thing, then you all of a sudden look at this map pool and say, this is one of the weaknesses that they have. What was what was one of the factors of their old dominance, right? Is they always had two or three maps that they could dominate, that they would be sure that they'd win. Now we don't even know where they go to. Now we don't even know what they pick and neither do they. And obviously, I mean, this dilapidated map pool of theirs is, is not panning out very well. Here's the thing. I think they probably would have picked Cache if it wasn't picked by Space Soldiers, right? Because that's something that they've been leaning on as a pick lately. So they've maybe they went into that and gone, well, we know Space Soldiers are normally pretty good on Mirage. Maybe we can take it to Inferno. We've seen weaknesses there. Space Soldiers have been handed uh, some, some servings on land on Inferno quite half-handedly, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. Maybe that was, was the reason. But if you're going in and you're getting caught off guard in a veto or your game plan's not very strong, you're going to get dictated to by a team like Space Soldiers who do have a very good game plan. And Major, again, you know, impressive once more for me, you know, going for entry frags and that T-side of obviously Zantara is having a very big game. But for them, it, it, it could have been a more convincing win if it wasn't for Cold Zero winning that two-on-one situation. If it wasn't for yeah. Cold Zero getting multiple kills on that T-side. And I'm so glad you mentioned, mentioned Maja and, and Zantara. Is actually, if you put them, if you combine their opening duels together, the number is rather absurd. 13 successful opening duels and just five unsuccessful for the two combined. That is an incredibly powerful stand. Talking of Zantara, <coughs> excuse me. Zantara? Zantara is the name I was trying to say. Right. Uh, he is, of course, one of them, once more, the influential factor for space soldiers actually on par with cold zero we're praising his performance it would be rather uh, disingenuous of us to not mention Zentaris having almost an identical score and contribution for Space Soldiers. One of the things which I found very interesting about SK's T side was the fact that they just let Stewie take Banana most rounds on his own. It wasn't that he was unsuccessful in getting control of that part of the map, but most teams are sending at least two players there. You look at Astralis, they have two players, Device and Magix, going there off spawn base with Glaive there throwing utility and support, yeah. and they really fight for that part of the map. Yeah. When you look at Space Soldiers, and they're playing as a team, and they have units moving around the map, they've got three packs over towards A playing together, they've got three guys getting control of Banana. They're playing as a team on their CT side, whereas SK more allow their individuals and duos, which can definitely be exploited. 
but it's just it's really just not the SK we're expecting to come out of the gates here today. And just taking a look at Stewie as well, you mentioned his name. I've never seen a statistic so poor for Stewie in, in the sense of opening duels. He take, took part in seven and lost six. <laughs> really, the first blood was drawn an awful lot from Stewie and his uh, unfortunate play. I mean, a lot of that comes down, well, I'm sure a lot of that would come down to the fact over towards that B bomb site. If you're taking that alone, like that area of the map is so hectic with utility being thrown by CTs and the pressure being put. You need a teammate there to help you out. Yeah. You need a teammate to bail you out and and set you up properly so that probably has something to do with it and just as well in general SK losing so many opening duels is just obviously not having a great plan for the start of these rounds we saw it on cash as well they got dominated in the in the early games of the of the rounds that's something that can't continue SK has to put more work into how they're going to start things out and you have to have two two people if you're going to take banana you can't just have that one guy it just doesn't work because then not only not only is he just getting beat up more often than not but if you find something you can take advantage of you can't do it with just one person you need second person there to be able to apply actual pressure pressure was definitely applied i mean that first half we saw around single-handedly won by cold zero one of the examples there double deagle in fact he got another one towards quad in the very same game 20 to 8 his scoreline here and they were down eight to five still as we do a review, Space Soldiers picking up this huge win here. We have to also reflect on the way this format works. Don't forget, SK Gaming are now going to have to play another best of three today. It is the Group A elimination match, and yeah. it's versus Ghost Gaming. That's You'd be really be... happy with that, right? No, but is it, though? I mean, this is an opportunity with completely unknown entity. They could have done some sweaty homework, That's pull true. out a weird map, and we could see SK Gaming. Big boy Kuz are going to come one. in there and knock them out. Day one <laughs> of ESL1. Bella Horizont, what was it? Sure. Bella Horizont, sure. Beautiful Horizon. Of course, beautiful. Um, can I just call it ESL One Beautiful Horizon? Yeah, let's do it. I like that. That's nice. Um, this has got to be perhaps. I've I've been a big proponent of giving this SK team time to kind of work themselves sure. in. This has got to be the scariest loss that we've seen them take since since oh. we joined the roster. I think. That's a. That's just a... because they've had time now. They're coming right off of a boot camp. They're coming right off of a tournament win. Yeah. That's a huge call. That's a massive call. I'm actually, oh, I have to maybe do some uh, some looking at it. Yeah, I don't know. I, Mine yeah. is more the time that's spent between adding Stewie to saying. the roster. You know, like but, for like the first little bit, gave him a grace period. Like I don't care who they lose to. You know, you're trying to figure things out. You're transitioning into a like, new language as well in communication. Now you've had time. Now you've had a couple tournaments behind you. You've had this boot camp that you've said. I think they've even had like two boot camps. Mm. Um, and and that's that's frightening. Now I will say we did talk about it in the pregame that for whatever reason, Space Soldiers has a very good record on up setting SK early on in tournaments and not being able to do it later on. So take from that yeah. what you will, but this, this kind of performance out of SK can't continue. We've definitely seen SK Space Soldiers on cash and a successful Turkish roster before. It's certainly a similar story. It's something that we are familiar with. Either way, Space Soldiers, big smile on their face in their first day here at ESL 1. They got themselves the win in a best of three versus hometown heroes SK Gaming. Coming up after the break, we have more Counter-Strike for you. We get to see more Brazilians as well. NTC taking on Mouseports after this.